Last night, about 100 St. John residents gathered at the St. John the Baptist King Edward School to talk about opening a community grocery store in their neighborhood. The South End Community Action Team is spearheading the project and they invited reps from Co-op Atlantic to meet with local residents. The Co-op is warm to the project, but reps say they need a show of support before committing further. Volunteer Tammy Garnett is one of those leading the project. She says the value of a community-run grocery store can best be measured where it matters the most, in the pocketbook. If they had a grocery store in the south end, they would save that $10, $60, whatever it is a month, they'd pay out in cabs and actually put it back in the community. Garnett says they need about 1,000 people to commit to the store before it can move ahead. And they need volunteers for a number of committees as well. Jennifer Edison lives in the neighborhood and she says a community-run store is more than just a spot to shop for food. It's a chance for the community to come together as well. And she was delighted by the show of support. I'm very excited about it. I'm just so happy. I almost cried earlier <laughs> that there is so many people that are showing their support. The South End is one of the poorest neighborhoods in St. John, and residents have been without a grocery store since the local IGA closed several years ago. For Surf City, I'm Mike Parker.